Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how you can save LabVIEW data in an Excel sheet. So let's get started. Excel sheet is a form of table having number of rows and columns. Each column has a specific name and each cell under a column contains the data. For example, the name of column 1 is temperature in degrees Celsius. The name of column 2 is humidity in percentage. And the name of column 3 is pressure in bar. And these names or labels are constant. They never get changed. The cells under column 1 will have the data which represents temperature only. Similarly, the data in the cell under column 2 and 3 represents humidity and pressure respectively. But these data get changed continuously from one row to other. So in lab view, we have to set the label first for each column that represents which data we are going to save in the Excel sheet. And these columns are set once. Then we can start saving the data in the corresponding column continuously. Data are stored in the Excel sheet in the form of array of string or numeric value, where every row are a single dimensional array. LabVIEW can open, read, and write Excel sheet which have dot .xls or dot .csv extension. In order to save our data in Excel sheet, we have to create a new Microsoft Excel and save it as Excel 97 2003 workbook or as CSP. Now open LabVIEW for program. The label or heading sub column is written once but the data on the them are written continuously. Hence, in the diagram, we must have two sequences, one for headings which is executed once and fast when the program is run, and the other one is for data which is executed continuously until the stop button is pressed. So let's do flat sequences. In the first sequence, the headings are written once but in the second sequence since we have to write data continuously in the excel sheet there should be a while loop and all the codes are written inside it now from the to the first sequence here we have to write the code or headings the number of headings or columns depends on the number of data variables we have to save. Suppose we have three data variables temperature, humidity, and pressure. So we have to create three headings in the first sequence. These are constants and are never going to be changed. We know that Excel sheet saves data. Those are in our form. So we have to convert the headings as an array of three elements. It can be done by using a for loop. The for loop will iterate three times. So give three to loop bounds. For fast iteration, we should write temperature, 
For second iteration, it should write humidity and for third iteration, it should write pressure. To achieve this, we need to add a case structure inside the for loop, where the cases are iteration. In case 0, add a string constant and give the name and treasure. And do the same thing for other two cases. Connect the output of each case at one point of case structure. Then connect it to the border of for loop and enable indexing. If we connect an indicator here, it shows an array of data. And if we run the VI, it shows array of three elements. Now we have to write our first three elements to get the feed. From the file I.O. take the write to spreadsheet file.pi and create the file path control. Now give the path to our newly created .csv file. Connect the data output from for loop to the 1D data input of the file. Give a common constant to the delimiter input of the WSS file. Now our first sequence is turn. Run the code and see what is written to the file. Yes, it's as desired. The three constants are placed as headings of three columns. Now move to the second sequence and write the data in the respective columns. We know that we have to write numbers of data under the three columns. For that, we have already taken by loop for continuous execution. Here, we have to write data as an array of three elements in each iteration of the for loop. So, we have to do the same thing here what we have done in the previous sequence. Take a for loop of three counts and a case structure inside it. For first case, temperature data should be written. For second case, humidity data. And for third case, pressure data should be written to the file. To simulate that, we can take a random number generator from the numeric to palette. This function generates a random number between 0 and 1. Multiply it by 100 for signal manipulation purposes. In the real time system, you can directly replace the random signal by the real time DAC signal. Connect the output of each case at the border of for loop and enable DEXI. Now again, take the right to spreadsheet file. Connect the file path reference to the ref norm of our sequence. Output of follow to the 1D data input. Enable the append to file 
and also e comma delimiter that's all now around the program and see what is written to the file We have successfully written the data in Excel sheet. To see the data written to the file, directly on the form panel simultaneously, we have to add a seed register and a builder function. Because the four spreadsheet data are in the form of two dimensional array having numbers of rows and columns. Filter array function builds a two dimensional array from single dimensional arrays. Create an indicator at the output. Expand it in the front end. Now open the Excel file and compare the data with the form panel data. To get highly precise value, change the format to percentile dot four F. The four here represents the number of digits after decimal point. Now rerun and see the result. We get four digits. More precise result is time. That's all for today. In the next video, I will show you how to extract data from Excel file. Till then, bye bye.